Welcome to the first part of the The Elder Scrolls IV Oblivion 2020 Ultimate Graphics Guide. In this first part, I like to um, uh, explain a little bit what we're going to do and explain a little bit about the past of Oblivion modding. Because it's been almost 15 years that Oblivion uh, was released. So in 2006, 20, 2021, it will be the 15 year anniversary of this wonderful game. Which, in my opinion, is the best Elder Scrolls. Uh, I know some people like Morrowind better, but I think Oblivion just was so fantastic in atmosphere, in the vibe. It's just unbeaten. I can still remember that Todd Howard did do his, uh, his uh, E3 presentation about Oblivion, and I really loved the forest, which I still do till of today. So a lot has happened in all of those years when it comes to Oblivion Muddy. I mean, we have seen many texture packs, we have seen some great Oblivion character overhauls, we have seen some EMBs, of course, which are uh, definitely one of the most um, changing, uh, most, uh, one of the most uh, game-changing mods, and we had Oblivion Graphics Extender. The problem in the past was always that Oblivion Graphics Extender wasn't really well compatible with an EMB, but Oblivion Graphics Extender has changed to the wonderful Oblivion Reloaded mod. If you are have no experience with Oblivion modding, you have probably no idea what I'm talking about. But for the ones who are in the modding scene for Oblivion, probably know what I mean. Oblivion Graphics Extender had uh, three versions, I think, and the final version of uh, version 4 is Oblivion Reloaded and we can finally now use texture packs, EMBs, Oblivion Reloaded and a lot of other cool stuff to uh, mod Oblivion. So this is the 2020 guide. I mean, the 2020 guide is also based on the Bevilex guide. For the ones who are new to this, Bevilex is a person, a modder as well and he did create a wonderful mod list since a couple of years already. And I use, uh, what I do is usually take about 90% of his guide because I think it's just so perfect. Also his load orders and explanation is so great that I really, really can't uh, argue with it. Uh, really, it's, it's, it's a very well written guide, also with instructions. But there are a couple of things I do differently. Um, there are some couple of other things I also recommend to do differently. Um, yeah, but that's something you will definitely experience during the tutorial. So if you're brand new in modding, welcome to this first tutorial for you guys. And for the ones who've been with me for a couple of years already, welcome back. This is a 2020 guide. So um, for the changes, what is different in the 2020 guide in comparison with the 2019 guide? Uh, the Bevelex mod list has changed a bit. Um, that means new mods have been added, new gr uh, some cool new mods as well. Uh, but probably the biggest change is that we're going to use a different EMB and that Bevelex did also release his own preset for Oblivion Reloaded. So that's really, really awesome. Also, what's different this time is that I tweaked a bit with the foliage, with the grass, the trees, and we're going to have a more realistic look this time instead of a more fantasy one. And I think it really pays off. I think uh, the green stuff of Oblivion that we know, here the grass and all looks great. And I've also played a little bit with the grass values. Um, as you can see here, we have very, very uh, high uh, distance, draw distance for the grass without having much performance loss. So that looks really cool. The only thing I would like to uh, point out is that the Oblivion engine is old. It states again from 2006 and there are some limitations. That means that the modding process can never be 100% perfect and an example you will always have a bit of pop-up so while i'm running here now as you can see there will be pop-up because it's just unavoidable and um, i think this tutorial is just the best of how we can get of how we can mod oblivion um, and yeah for the rest that's just pretty much i would like to say as an introduction so far in game i mean as you can see, I'm now walking through the forests and um, the lighting, I think, is just fantastic. Um, also, you know, with, with the god rays here through the trees and just the overall look, I think it's very, very realistic. And again, let's see, is there something else I can show you? So this is how nature will look. I can maybe show you a bit around the city. So let's unhide the hut and let's see. Coral is the closest city, so let's fast travel to Wayne Priory. Wayne and Priory, and then show you a bit of how NPCs look, how cities look. 
So as you can see, um, it's quite a realistic look. There's there are no fantasy trees anymore. Um, the landscape looks realistic, and I personally like that very much. And yeah, that's also these are the mods I will use in the guide. So let's see, can we fast travel to the city, please? Here are the stables. And also what I do recommend, but I will say this in the last part, you can play around with weather settings, with time settings. So when you're pressing console, as you can see, I played with it a little bit. We can set the uh, the game hour to night. So 00 will be 12 a.m. and now it will be night. So you can test out the night sky. Also, um, I fixed a couple of things with the night sky because in the past we had these weird seams in the sky uh, and they're now also disappeared. So. I will, uh, yeah, I think a lot has improved and um, I think this might just be really the ultimate version of all these years. I think this is the version which you want. And if you're ever, um, yeah, if you really, really want to place, play Oblivion, because what I usually do nowadays is just mod the games. I don't play them much anymore. But this might be the ultimate version for you to use because I've tested it for quite a long time. And I have to be honest, in the 2018-19 guide, there occurred some crashes after an hour or something, uh, sometimes random. I can't really, you know, I couldn't really uh, put my finger on it why it did crash, but Anyway, I think now it is very stable, so I think this is the best of both worlds. A very stable game, but also a very good looking game. So, uh, to end this video, or not, not to end this video, because I'm going to go to the mods section after this. I'm not sure what this is. It's a, probably a bug, because I did mess around a little bit in the console command, so don't worry about no, Don't worry too much about it. Because what I do is I always hide a hut and stuff like that. And yeah, sometimes the game doesn't really like that. But anyway, you should look at this here. How cool this chapel looks. I mean, how good quality the texture uh, textures are from the chapel. Really, really awesome. So this is how a city will look. And an example here, the characters. They're very, very cool with a playing character overall too. They have custom eyes, stuff like that. Uh, we have some animals here. And yeah, it just, for me, looks really realistic, really cool. And I think, again, this is the ultimate version. So enough of the in-game stuff. I think it's now time to show you all the mods in Rybash. So this is the guide we're going to use, the Bevilex mod list. Also now for the 2020 guide, uh, let me quickly show you a bit what you can expect and what we're going to install. So when you scroll down this page, I actually have a, uh, he has one of my videos covered, one of my showcase videos, really cool. Thanks a lot, Bevelex. And as you can see here, uh, he has the recommended hardware. And um, yeah, I think this is something you really, really want. And I also think a lot of you guys have these specifications. The specifications for a fully modded Oblivion are way lower than a fully modded Skyrim. So that's a good thing on a relatively mid spec, even low spec nowadays. Um, you are able to run a full version of the Oblivion ultra modded version. So that's cool. I mean, if you look at this, a GPU with only two gigabytes of VRAM, that's, you know, really nothing nowadays. I mean, a GTX 917 NAS 70 from uh, quite a long time ago had four gigs of VRAM. That's what I remember. Or what was it? Three and a half because Nvidia did lie to us. But anyway, you know what I mean? Just a average PC will be good enough to run everything greatly. So here you will see the category of all kinds of mods we're going to install. But of course, I will explain everything during this tutorial on what you need to do. If you are a new modder, you are able to follow this quite easily. And if you're an experienced modder, good for you, then you know a little bit what to expect. So the mod we're going to use is Rybash. And when it comes to changes, uh, um, I have to say, now we're only using Rybash. No Oblivion Mod Manager anymore. We used to need to have Oblivion Mod Manager for Darnified UI because there was no support for Rybash, but now there is, so we only need Rybash. So to show you a little bit of what you can expect um, in the installer step, these are all the mods we're going to install. So it are quite a lot of mods, as you can see, um, but all is needed. At least for this tutorial, everything is needed. I'm going to do again a little bit of changes, which uh, I think uh, suits the fully modded game better. But 90% definitely comes from the Bevelex mod guide. Here are the plugins. So um, it are quite a lot of plugins, but not as much maybe as the Ultimate Skyrim Special Edition guide. 
And, you know, um, if you have to find everything out yourself, it can be quite complicated or at least time consuming, not that complicated. But you're on luck because you can follow my video tutorials. So for the rest, we're going to install at the next part. Um, I hope you had a little bit of an idea what you can expect in this 2020 Ultimate Graphics Guide. What the changes are, um, how the game looks and also have a little first glance on uh, Rybash. And then hope to see you guys at the next part where we will finally start the modding.